Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am testing out a dupes video. I've had so many people comment and email and I've seen this dupe on Pinterest before and it is saying that a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Skin is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Both of these concealers are cruelty free. They're also both vegan but they have very different price points and Wet n Wild is obviously much more available because you can go into your local drugstore and get it. You don't have to go into an Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, things like that. I had heard that these were dupes for each other in quite a few places. I got a bunch of comments about it. I got a bunch of emails about it. So I wanted to investigate that. There are some other concealers that people are claiming the Wet n Wild one is a dupe for as well. So comment, let me know if you want me to keep doing this like testing it out dupe series. I was really intrigued by this. I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin a few months ago and I've been using it. I've also been using this one for a few months. I have prepped my skin. I put on a little bit of my Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I just did one very light coat to even out my skin because I do concealer over foundation, but because I also wanted to test how they cover. I didn't put a lot on and I didn't go around my eyes really. So you guys are gonna see it full coverage on my dark spots. So I'll be doing Urban Decay Naked Skin on this side of my face and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus on this side of my face. And I will be using a beauty blender to blend both of those out. I have two different ones here. They're both dirty. Sorry, I did just do my foundation. I wanted to use two different beauty blenders so that way it's not blending the two concealers. So a couple of things that I wanna point out just immediately after application is that I think the formulas themselves are pretty different. This one is a lot lighter and more of a serum-like consistency, whereas the Wet n Wild is a thicker, more cream-like consistency. So they do feel very different on the skin. I don't feel like there's any additional product underneath my eye on this side, but I can definitely feel that there is additional product underneath my eye on the Wet n Wild side. I will say on the monitor and in the mirror, the Wet n Wild side has more coverage specifically underneath my eyes. I feel like it did a better job of brightening up that area and covering my under eye circles. In the places where I wanted to highlight, like my cupid's bow, my forehead, my chin, I feel like it looks the same. So looking at it close up, there is definitely more coverage on the wet and wild side. That said, I feel like the coverage is more consistent on the Urban Decay side. It's just covering a little more consistently. I feel like the Wet n Wild side, there are a few random dark spots where the coverage isn't great. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more coverage on each side just to even things out. Now that I've added a little bit more product, I do also feel like they're settling into the skin differently. I feel like the Wet n Wild side kind of shows more texture. It shows more pores, more of those little lumps in my skin, and it's settling in a little bit more on the skin, whereas I feel like the Urban Decay, it's just sitting a little bit differently. I don't know if it's necessarily better or worse because again, it is settling in to my fine lines. It's showing a little bit of texture, but they're showing it in different spots. And I think that's what's interesting to me is they seem to, they're just not the same. The formula is very different. They apply very differently. They blend out very differently. I feel like on a lot of areas of my face that are not my under eyes, it is sitting very similar. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back because I wanna see how everything lays on top of it. So now that I have my makeup finished, I wanted to share my final thoughts with you guys. I think that with makeup on, both sides look nice. The makeup is laying really well on both of them. It's not settling in, it's not creasing, it's not caking. I will say that over time, because I have I've used both of these consistently for a couple of months. I do think that the Wet n Wild one tends to crease a little bit more than the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I feel like the Naked Skin has more longevity and wear time throughout the day than the Photo Focus does. Separately, I really do like both of these concealers a lot. I think that Photo Focus is great, especially if you want a drugstore cruelty-free vegan option. It comes in a decent shade range. It's full coverage. It's buildable. It's a very nice creamy formula. I think if you're looking for a good vegan drugstore concealer, this is probably one of the 
the best out there. I think it's a really, really good concealer. So the Urban Decay Naked Skin is a lighter concealer. I feel like it has more shade tones to it. I'm not sure overall about the shade range, to be totally honest with you guys. I think that it applies very nicely. It's a much lighter, more moisturizing feeling concealer. Even now with all my makeup done, I can feel, since I know I did two concealers, I can feel the Wet n Wild is on this side. This side of my face feels heavier underneath the eyes. And so to me, just the fact that they feel different on the skin to the point where I notice it is interesting. This is a really good coverage concealer. I think Photo Focus has a little bit more coverage right off the bat, but I feel like Naked Skin is slightly more buildable. I don't really think they compare it as far as that goes. I also think this one applies more smoothly and evenly. Like I mentioned, Photo Focus seemed to, especially under my eyes, there were certain spots where it didn't have as much coverage, but it didn't really make sense. There didn't seem to be a rhyme or reason. Whereas on the Naked Skin side, the spot where it needed more coverage is where I typically need more coverage with concealer right at that darkest point especially since I did not color correct. To answer the question, do I think they're dupes? I don't think that they're dupes. I think they're both really great concealers though. So that kind of makes this tricky and I can see why people would want to say that they're dupes because they're both good concealers, but I feel like they're very different. Comment, let me know which one you think is better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.